Today we will be taking a look at ASX listed company Renaska Resources, ticker RNU, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see RNU go in the near future. Let's get into it. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another stock analysis video. As I mentioned, we're taking a look at RNU, Renaska Resources today. This is an ASX listed company in the battery metal space. Primarily, their focus is on graphite, but they're not simply just a graphite miner. They are looking to vertically integrate throughout the entire supply chain into the manufacturing and delivery space as well. Today we're going to be performing some technical analysis on it and hopefully making some decent predictions on where we can expect to see RNU go within the next few months. Of course, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe, like the video and let me know your thoughts on RNU down in the comments section below. But without any further ado, let's jump straight into today's analysis. Welcome into the RNU chart guys and I must say on first glance this is one of the more exciting stocks that I've seen from a charting perspective. At the moment you can see we're currently sitting at 15 cents Australian but on the last trading day which was on the 31st got up to a high of 15 and a half cents. But on first glance what I'm seeing on this daily chart is one of the best patterns that you could hope to see in a company that you want to see go up in value. Basically, we're seeing a cup and handle pattern form right here beautifully. And what we've seen is we've got the cup, we've had that handle form and a breakout has occurred over the past three trading days out of that channel. So that is absolutely fantastic and I'm sure holders would be absolutely stoked. Now, as we zoom in, based on that, where was the break itself? Well. Simply if we take, I suppose, from maybe roughly about there, you can see that we had a bit of a you know downtrending channel up here as you'd expect from a cup and handle pattern. You've got the top end there, you've got the bottom end, which I'd suggest is probably a bit more like that, dropped out of it briefly, but bounced off that 50 day moving average. But as you can see over here on the 29th of December at a value of 12 and a half cents, it broke out from that point and started its move upwards. One thing I have noticed as well is that 20 day moving average is now moving up towards that 50 day moving average. A cross of that would be a very bullish indicator for RNU moving forward. Now it does look like at this point, RNU has briefly stalled. And the reason I say that is because obviously on the last trading day, we you know had a little bit of a peak on our candle then came back. So what I would be establishing now is almost a bit of a potential flag pattern that could be forming. How it's going to look, I don't know, but I would expect that it would operate in either that sort of a shape here, as you can see, something similar to that, or alternatively, it could form into a bit of a pennant, as you can see going in that sort of a format, but that is still to be seen. If we really want to get a bit more info on exactly what's going on, we need to go into the hourly charts. So let's have a quick look at here. And as you can see, we have had obviously that nice little spike, but then on the last hour of the trading, that did come back down. So at this point in time, it is quite hard to tell exactly what sort of a pattern is going to form, but on the hourly, you could suggest that there is a bit of a channel which has formed in this sort of a manner. We broke that channel, we're sitting above it now, and we could be moving in an upwards direction. Overall, this is looking very, very strong from a short-term perspective. Putting in, I suppose, a next target for us, it would be, in my opinion, to break that 15 and a half cent mark. As you can see, if we put in some horizontal resistance here, you can see that is a very, very important point from a pricing perspective on this chart it is acted as a point of resistance previously on multiple occasions. So that really would be the target, breaking through that 15 and a half cent mark before then going and testing the all time highs for this stock, which are sitting at 18 and a half cents. That would be the ultimate goal. Let's bring in a few more indicators now. Some very interesting ones, MACD of course, we saw a nice cross of the MACD back here, which was on roughly the 9th or 10th of December. And as we did start to see this cool off a bit, it has shot up. 
and we did not see a cross of the 12 day MA back below the 26 day. We continued in the upwards direction and this is looking very, very strong at this point in time. You can see this was because it was supported by large amounts of volume from this chart. Now, of course, let's bring in our RSI. I expect this would be quite high at the moment or if not have pumped and yes, as you can see, it's currently sitting in the overbought category. So 75.19. Now, that indicates to me that we need to cool off a bit. So RNU, in my opinion, is going to pull back slightly before it breaks through the 15 and a half cent mark just because it is running so hot at the moment. What is the lowest it would drop to? Well, I actually think we've got a nice little point of support that's formed itself over the past few trading days and that is at 14 cents. So I'd expect potentially we start to see something occur in this sort of a fashion, a bounce downwards in a bit of a you know channel sort of format i suppose over the next few days of trading before then we will see simply a little nice bounce and then a test and hopefully break through that 15 and a half cent mark of resistance but the ultimate goal for today from a price perspective we need to get through the 15 and a half cent mark first and then we are going to once again try and retest those all-time highs back here at 18 and a half cents that wraps up our RNU analysis for today, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments section below. If you did enjoy today's analysis, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I'll leave it there, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.